purge. I need to purge. Guys. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little bit of a different video. I have never done this one before, but as you can tell by the title of the video, it is a organizing my closet video. Originally, I wanted to film a um, recent leggings and joggers video. Um, since we've been so busy the last couple months, I haven't been recording my recent purchases. So I wanted to kind of compile them all and share that with you. So I do plan on still filming that tomorrow, but today I'm actually gonna be filming a reorganization of my closet. Um, I'm going to categorize them and hang them. There's just so many clothes, oh my God. I honestly, I always think I have no clothes and then I do the laundry or move <laughs> and then I'm like, holy crap, I have way more clothes than I thought I do. I need to either donate them sell them on Poshmark, do something with them, recycle them, something. I need to do something, not throw them out. I, I, honestly, unless they're damaged and I wouldn't give that to like a friend, I wouldn't donate it. So um, I'm doing laundry currently right now and I will give you a peek into my closet, what it currently looks like right now. <laughs> Hi, Tequila. So first off, we're gonna take a pit stop at the laundry section of the house, which has completely not been touched other than a reorganization of the actual um, machines here, but it just finished, so I need to change this as quickly as possible. much my dilemma is as much as I love all my clothes I kind of want to go into 2021 well we're already here but I want to um, become more of a minimalist in 2021 does that make sense I really really want to purge the clothes that I haven't worn in the last year to two years um, I keep saying that like for this example I have such good memories in some of these pieces of clothes and uh, it makes me sad to see them go, but like am I actually ever gonna wear these again? I'm like, oh, maybe I'll wear them like when I'm pregnant Like that'd be a, such a cute like maternity outfit, but then I'm like, well, I don't want to get pregnant for another like three years So <laughs> I don't know I don't know this blazer. I feel like I have never worn this but it has followed me since living at my mom's house to living in the apartment to living here now <laughs> Um, and I keep thinking like one day I'm going to wear this beautiful blue blazer and I'm just, no, I'm, I'm not going to wear the blue, beautiful blue blazer. I need to purge, I need to purge, and I need to organize. What I've kind of decided is I'm going to keep my business casual clothes hung up in the main um, closet here and then I am going to bring all of my activewear into the spare bedroom and then the spare bedroom is going to be my main activewear spot.
all my big comfy sweaters and my sweatpants and any sweatpants that aren't athleisure are in this drawer with some pajamas. Oh my goodness. I guess this is athleisure. <laughs> that does not belong in there. So any um, non-sports related or fitness related brands are going to be in here. So some comfy sweaters for casual wear. And then in this drawer is going to be my denim drawer for, well, denim bottom drawer. <laughs> um, which I'm actually thankful before we moved I purged a lot of my jeans anyway because damn my booty has grown so it didn't fit anymore see i've gone up to either a size five or whatever i used to be a double zero and now what to do with these clothes i'm going to move all those athleisure clothes in there into the spare bedroom mm -hmm. categorize them by sports bras, by tops, and by sweaters that I would wear them with leggings at the gym.